Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, this is Ryan here. And I've waited long enough to talk about this. Um, you know, I put on a, a face to friends of mine, family, uh, to you guys. <laughs> um, since I moved into this house, and I'm not exaggerating. I'm not. I'm not uh, placating. I'm not. I'm not lying to you. Um, I have, and this is really bad to admit, given my personal history um, with my family. Um, with the exception of three nights, and with the exception of not even going on my vacations because I've, I've drank then, um, we'll call it five. So, in the, not counting before moving in here, in the month and a half, we'll say, month and a quarter that I've lived in this house, not during the day ever, not during work ever. Um, yeah, I've drank alcohol. Um, and why is that? It's not to have fun. Yeah, sure, there are a couple nights when friends were over. A um, couple nights where, you know, I go out, have, you know, a few beverages at dinner and go see a movie. Um, I've never, I do not, period drink alcohol and drive, which is primarily why I've drank alcohol at home. Um, but the short end of the stick of it is uh, I've probably gotten one to three hours of sleep every night since moving into this house. Um, and again, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. Um, if you've watched any of my videos where I talk to people or talk to you, you can probably see it in me. Um, I, I, I haven't, I haven't slept. I haven't gotten a good night's sleep. And I've had the nights that I do sleep, the nights that I do get more than three hours of sleep, the nights where I actually get some kind of REM dream sleep, I've had nothing but nightmares. I shit you not. I, 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 I can't stress how much I'm not making this up where I will have nightmares where I'll be sleeping and I'll wake up to, once again, my room on fire and burning to death. Okay. Um, I've had a hard time falling asleep because I'm afraid that something else is going to happen. Um, and uh, I don't like... I don't like this. And, uh, you know, having a few drinks before bed used to be just enough to relax me, um, to get me to stop, you know, thinking about things. Um, um, used to be enough to, you know, just fall asleep. You know, and I think, hey, hey, you know, in the past, before all this, before all this bullshit, you know, you go to a party or you have a party, you have a few drinks, you pass out, and you wake up at some point the next day, and yeah, you have a hangover or you don't feel good. For the record, I've never actually had a real hangover, I've just been really dehydrated. But, uh, you, uh, yeah, you, know, you wake up, but hey, you got to sleep. Not me. No matter how much I drink, no matter what I take for medication, whether it's sleeping medication, don't worry, didn't take, you know, too much of it, just enough to, you know, like, direct the directions. Whether it's, um, Allergy medicine, which in the past used to knock me out. Um, 
No matter how. No matter what I do. I can't. I can't sleep. I can't not have these emotions, these dreams, or these memories. I never thought it would be like this. I thought that Once I move into this house, I thought that, hey, you know, it'll be good things. And of course, it is better than living in a hotel or a rental home. You know, it is, it's nice being able to say, I have a home. Um, but this is a different you know, this is, this is not what I would consider, <clears throat> you know, post-traumatic stress. Um, this is not what I was experiencing for a month or so after the fire. You know, that was expected. That was understandable, okay? I'm not an idiot. I know how the world works. I know how human beings work. And being a movie buff and a history buff, I know that when you go through a dramatic event... It's expected that something like that happens. Um, but this bullshit, this is different. Um, it's costing me my job at the post office, uh, basically. I'm not going to get into details. Um, <laughs> unlike recent um, media stories where somebody throws packages into the woods or takes home mail and uh, buries it, that's not what I did. Um, nothing near that, so please don't think that. Um, long story short, not sleeping and having the stress of what I previously mentioned. Let's just say that it's just it's cost me my job. Um, which is not good. Um, that was back in June. Uh, since June 14th, I have not worked. Um, being a member of the post office and uh, the union, trying to get my job back, but I doubt that's going to happen. Um, I have basically run out of money. I got my last paycheck. Um, I have about $100 to my name. I've been looking for jobs. Um, I'm going to go to unemployment tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Um, but I, uh, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> emotionally, physically, mentally, I have been putting up a front to friends and family, and I don't know if I can continue to do it. Um, I know this must sound childish, I know this must sound stupid. To some, I'm sure there's a troll out there or someone out there who's going, you know, man up, don't be such a puss. Well, <laughs> it's not, it's not as easy as that. Um, and it's a weak, it's a weak thing in my brain. It's, it's a weakness of mine, and I hate admitting that. Um, but it is. As much as I hate to say this, because not one, but three of my former bosses have said this, and I've hated every time they've said it. It is what it is. <coughs> um, I want to go and see someone and, and, and talk about this, like I did a couple times in the past. Uh, right after the fire, I went and spoke to someone. You know, I, at, at work, there's a few people who have supported me through the process of getting my job back. Excuse me, a few friends who have, you know, tried to help me out in certain situations. 
over the past month. A few of them have gone, you know, I've been there, I've, you know, one, dare I say, co-worker slash friend of mine was, you know, I've lost houses before, and it's like, what? And uh, they said, oh, you know, I've had a, I lost a house in a divorce. And another friend said that, oh, well, we moved, and I grew up in the house. I just want to grip them grip them by their shirts and just scream in their face that it's not the same okay and you may be trying to relate to me and you may be trying to bring something else into the picture but it's not the fucking same when you basically have your at 25 time it's not the fucking same when you have your entire life ripped from you, okay? Losing a house in a move or a divorce <laughs> when you have a chance to pack up your belongings and you have a chance to say your goodbyes and you get to keep your pets and members of your family, basically. It's not the fucking same than as stepping back and watching it burn to the ground. I don't give a fuck how long you've lived in the house. I don't give a fuck how long it's been in your family. It is not the same. And a few friends of mine try to convince me of that. And a few, a few people. And I'm sorry, it's just not. But I don't have the money. And when I was working, I didn't have the time. Um, I literally didn't have the time. I mean, I would go into work at 7.30 and get home by 8 o'clock. There's no time there. Um, you know, I've... Like I said before, I... I, I don't condone... What's the word? Not condone, sorry. I don't encourage... You know, drinking... Drinking when you're sad... For a short period of time, like, you know, right after the... For example, right after the fire. Yeah, duh give the guy a few drinks, give my whole family a few drinks, but to the nature that I have done so to try and sleep, to try and not be the way I've been for the past few days, it's not something that you should do. It's not something you should have to do. Um, and I know I'm not the only one, and I know that some of you are thinking this right now, so I will say it. I know I am not the worst off person in the world. Okay. There are a lot of people in the world that are worse off than me, but right now, at this very second, you know, July 9th, 2014, at 2.10 in the morning, I don't give a crap. This is about me. So, I don't know what to do. In a month, when I make, or when I don't make a payment for the Jeep, you know, I can call him and tell him the situation, um, but, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I live at home, so, you know, worst case scenario, I won't be on the street, but like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm 26 years old, I've had a few jobs, I consider myself decently traveled. I've seen quite a few things in my life. I know quite a bit. There are a few skills that I'm very good at. <laughs> but I look at it and I think, what, is, what does that get me? What, do, what can I do for the almighty dollar, which drives all of our lives? You know, and granted the Jeep was, was something that's different, but if I didn't have that, if I had the original vehicle, you know, I'd be a little bit better off here, but still. <laughs> what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I'm not just talking about money here. I'm talking about my life. I'm talking about how I can't take this crap anymore. I, you know, I, I, I have around me, I have, you know, a $2,000 TV and a $3,000 home theater system. And yeah, I... Whatever you want to say about that, 
whatever your hobby is, you know, you spend a grand a year or whatever on your truck or your RC cars. That's my hobby, okay? Yeah, I have a telescope, you have a computer. That's my hobby, is a home theater buff, okay? So yeah, I have all that. I have this computer, I have my bed. So you're probably saying, well, you should be fine. Well, it's not, it's not about that. Like I said, I, you know, it, we've only been in this house for a month and a half. Um, obviously, this has been a continuing problem for a while, but these <laughs> nightmares, these thoughts, not being able to sleep, have happened now for about a month and change, a month and a half. No matter what I've done to confront them, to combat them. I don't know. You know, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you who are watching this, whether you're close friends of mine, those of you watching this who are close friends of mine know who I'm talking about, and, you know, I love you and I, I value our friendship. And to you subscribers who have known me for a while, you know, I don't, I don't, I didn't drink that much. I really don't. And I st still think I don't, until recently. Um, I don't like alcoholics. And I'll be honest, you know, my father does drink a lot. Granted, he works his ass off, he supports this family. Um, he, he is my father, so take that as you will. But when he comes home from work, after a 12, 15 hour shift, whatever it is, and has a few beers in him, I don't like to be around him. And I know he, he deserves to relax and mellow. I mean, come on. Everybody knows what I'm talking about here. Um, I grew up with that. I grew up with a lot more than that, which, with respect to him, I won't talk about, but we'll leave it at that. Um, no, I was never hit and abused, but I grew up with alcohol in the family, let's just say. I never thought that I would that I would have this problem. Granted, it took a serious, if not the seri most serious, one of the more serious things that could happen to someone to bring on. I don't like the fact that, you know, when I wake up every day, or every day since I've not worked, no matter how much fun I have during the day, and that's been very little, that something like this is what I'm looking forward to at night because I know that it'll possibly, potentially help me sleep. And, um, yeah. I'm rambling here. I don't know where I'm going with this video. Um, but like I said before, I put on, even for these videos, I put on a face. Um, I try and act happy. I try and act normal. I, wherever the... <coughs> wherever the hell he is, Marty. <laughs> God love him. You know, he, he's provided a, a joy and happiness in my day-to-day -day activities, but... You know, I still go to bed at whatever hour, and I still wake up a few hours later, or I don't fall asleep, and oh, 2 o'clock becomes 3 o'clock, and 3 becomes 4, and 5, then 6, then 7, and then maybe I'll fall asleep between 7 and 8, but then have a nightmare, or just simply wake up at 9, and pretty soon 10 o'clock comes around 11, 12, and hell, you might as well get out of bed. Um, yeah. <laughs> So this is kind of like a, this is kind of like the fire's revenge on me. <sighs> like I said, I thought I would be over this. I thought I would be done when I moved in here. I thought, you know, I really, really thought that when I moved in here, it would, you know, I got my job, I got my Jeep, a new house new toys to play with, if you will, but no, I, 
don't have a job anymore at the moment. I don't sleep. I've been tired. I've gained weight. Mainly because of the drinking and not moving around that much since not having a job, but... Well, whatever. That's it. 